I had never heard of the term skinwalker before I arrived in New Mexico. I was sent there for work. I spent around two months there before heading back to Nebraska for a new assignment. I kept to myself and I never really spent time around the area. Occasionally, I would hear the man working with me complain about the noises at night keeping them awake. I didn't care for scary stories. I didn't care about what was outside as long as it didn't mess with my sleep. The man seemed to enjoy the creepy story from the locals, and they would kill time talking about what they heard that day. At first, it was all fun. The man would talk about paranormal sightings. Not having lived through anything like that made it intriguing. However, it wasn't until one of them didn't show up for work that made the rest of the team start taking the stories a little more seriously. One of the men was found hiding in his trailer. I didn't see him personally, but the team was told that he would be sent to a nearby hospital. One of the guys that found him told us that he was huddled up in a small corner, mumbling to himself over and over, whoops, eyes, it laughed. I felt bad for the guy. The stress from work was probably getting to him in my opinion. However, the other man started to get worked up. One night, I went over to a local bar. I found three guys talking to the bartender about the possibility of something paranormal happening back at camp. The bartender wasn't too happy about the guys bringing a folklore they knew nothing about. And occasionally, he left to serve others, trying his best to ignore the three men. One of the men started talking about skinwalkers while the rest listened closely. They had all had a few drinks in them and they were getting pretty loud. Everyone at the bar started to look at them annoyed at how obnoxious they were acting. I was looking around thinking how stupid the man sounded. And that's when I noticed an elderly man who was also listening in closely. He was dressed in farmer's attire with some Native American print on it. The man looked angry and he approached the group very slowly before standing behind them not saying a word. One of the men from my team looked at him and asked him what he wanted. The old man didn't respond and just stared at him. I stood up from my table hoping that none of the drunks would be dumb enough to start a fight with an old man. The old man stood there looking at them while the man started taunting him. Eventually the three got bored and turned their back on him. The subject of skinwalkers came up again which is when the old man finally spoke. Stop talking about something you know nothing about. The man turned around and stood up. I moved closer in hopes that they would see me and back off from the old man. The old man stood his ground and told them not to be disrespectful and to not meddle in things that were past their understanding. The man got irritated and right as one of them was about to step closer to the old man, I finally butted in. Being somewhat their superior, the three men finally left, leaving me and the old man behind shaking our head. I apologized to him and told him that they were just a bunch of immature kids that didn't know how to handle their alcohol when the old man told me to be careful. He said that the locals didn't talk about the subject and that talking about them would only bring unwanted attention. Not wanting to be rude, I only nodded and told the old man I keep an eye out on my team. I returned to camp and saw one of the men from the bar asleep on a chair in front of his trailer holding a beer. I didn't care to leave him out there. I went straight to bed. It must have been around 3 in the morning when I woke up to the sound of man outside yelling. I got up and walked out still somewhat half asleep to find everyone standing around something. I walked up only to become overwhelmed at rotting stench and the horrific sight of the man who was asleep dead with his throat slashed. He had taken his life with a shard of broken beer bottle. I walked away sick to my stomach while everyone stayed behind. I walked up to a small path feeling sick and puked. When I was finished, I was about to walk back when I heard something behind me. When I turned around, the darkness didn't allow me to get a good look up ahead, but I was able to make out someone standing not too far from me. I thought it was perhaps 
one of the men who also had to excuse themselves from the crowd. However, the person up ahead was moving funny. I called out for the person to identify himself, but I heard no immediate response. The person was walking closely, very slowly, and his body was jerking funny. He looked like a child learning how to walk. I called out once again for the person to identify himself. Only at this time, there was a response. The voice of the person sent chills up my spine. The voice sounded inhuman, yet it tried to sound as normal as possible. The body was twitching, which is what really frightened me. I started to step back, still deciding what to do when he spoke again. The words didn't make sense, and I couldn't understand what he was trying to say. It wasn't until he walked up and the moonlight hit his face when I realized it wasn't a him, but an it. The body was a mash of what had been Carl the man, who I had seen dead only moments ago, and something goat-like. The skin looked stretched out and the face looked like a mask. Its legs looked broken and the feet, they weren't feet. They were hooves. I ran out of there quick, looking back in hopes that he wasn't following me. Everyone was so focused on the body that they didn't notice me running into my trailer. I made a call to the local sheriff who was already on his way after the call for Carl's death was made. I sat in my trailer not knowing what to think, say or do. I waited until the sheriff arrived before going out. After Carl's death, a huge lawsuit was filed against our company for not finishing the job. The thing is, no one would go back to work after a few more sightings of something inhuman emerged. I was one of the first men who was packed up and ready to go. I visited the local bar one last time in the hopes of finding the old man I had spoken to before. I found him in the same spot sitting and drinking. He started to speak even before I said a word. I warned him. You can't go around talking about stuff like that and not expect anything to happen. I didn't say anything to that and I proceeded to ask him what I wanted to ask. Did he really take his own life? Or was it a skinwalker? The old man looked up and said in a very serious tone, Don't talk about them. The talk will attract their attention. He got up and left without saying another word. That was the last time I ever said the word out loud. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed the story and here's me hoping that telling the story doesn't count as in attracting the unwanted attention. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.